Hey guys, it's Jaden over BHA here. All right, so I'm bringing you another tutorial on how to install Home Assistant. Now this is the Haspian install that we're gonna install on Raspberry Pi 3. Now as you know, I've been running the HasIO image on Raspberry Pi 3 for the last couple of weeks. And though I really like HasIO, I ran into issues with not being able to run shell commands and of course uh, binary sensors and command line sensors, basically because HasIO runs inside of Docker. Uh, so it wasn't working for me and I had to kind of just wipe it and start over. So I decided to run with a Hasbian install on a Raspberry Pi 3. So let's go over what we're going to cover in this video. This install is pretty similar to what we did with the Hasio image on the Raspberry Pi 3. So we're basically going to start by downloading the Hasbian image. And then of course, uh, if you don't already have it, we're going to download Etcher. Once we get Etcher installed, we're going to flash the Hasbian image onto the SD card using Etcher. Uh, and then once we get the SD card put back in the Raspberry Pi 3 and boot it up, uh, we're going to go ahead and change that default password that they have for logging in to the Raspberry Pi. And lastly, we're just going to pull up that web front end and see what that looks like. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to start by uh, downloading the uh, Hasbian uh, Raspberry Pi image. Of course, I'll have all the links in the uh, description below, but basically from the Home Assistant Hasbian page, uh, you can see here where it lists all the steps you really have to do for this video. Uh, we're going to click on this link here and then click on the image to download it. And of course, I'll fast forward through this so we're not waiting for it to finish downloading. All right, so now that we have finished downloading our Hasmian image, let's go ahead and go over to etcher.io and download uh, the latest version of Etcher. Now, obviously, if you've already uh, if you already have Etcher, if you already used it with your Raspberry Pi, then you don't need to re-download it. Just use the version you already have. Okay, so you've downloaded Etcher, you've installed Etcher. Let's go ahead and flash that new image. So we're gonna select the new Hasbian image. Make sure we're pointed at the right uh, storage device, which is our SD card, and we're just gonna say flash. Uh, see, look, uh, it's prompting me for a password here. Let's just type that in. And again, I'll fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for it to finish. All right, so we're done flashing our uh, Hasbian image onto our uh, SD card. So we can now basically eject that uh, SD card and we're going to put it in the Raspberry Pi 3 and boot it up. Now, much like the Hasio install, uh, you put that in, it's going to take about 20 minutes or so, depending on uh, the download speed, uh, for it to uh, basically update and put the latest version of Home Assistant on your Raspberry Pi 3. Um, so, you know, you put it in, let it run for a little bit, come back and check on it. Basically, um, once you have it up online and you're able to ping it by IP address, uh, we can SSH to it. That's part of the default image. Now the default username and password for, uh, for this install, uh, the username will be Pi and the password will be Raspberry. And that's basically why we're gonna go ahead and change that just to get it off of the default password. So you do that by typing uh, P-A-S-S-W-D. So it's basically come up, it'll say change your password for the Pi. You have to put in your current password. Uh, once you do that, then it'll ask you to put in a new one. Put in the new password, retype the new password. And then of course it'll come back and say updated successfully. So then we're good. Let's go ahead and pull up the web front end and see what that looks like. 
So as you can see here, I don't really have any devices in here yet because I literally just installed it. Looks pretty good. Uh, obviously it's up and running now. So um, if for any reason you don't know your IP address uh, by default, you can certainly hit it once it comes online by going to HTTP colon slash slash Haspian dot local port 8123. And that should get you in there. And again, I'll put all that in the description so you can uh, take a look at it from there. Let's do another quick run through of what we covered in this video. So we started out by downloading our Hasbian image uh, from the Home Assistant website. Once we did that, we downloaded Etcher. Uh, once we got uh, Etcher downloaded, and of course you installed it, then we were able to flash the Haspian image onto SD card using Etcher. Uh, then of course next we changed our default password on the Raspberry Pi 3. Lastly, of course, we just pulled up the web front end to show you what that looked like. Looked like. Alright guys, that is the end of this video. Uh, again, like I said, uh, I ran with Hasio for a few weeks. I really like Hazio. Uh, I love all the add-ons and everything that, that you have and all the capabilities you got, but uh, you're limited on what you have access to in the command line uh, for like shell commands and command line sensors. I'm sure there's other ways around it, uh, but I played around with it for a week and kind of got frustrated with it, so I decided to move off of a Hazio and back to a Hasbian image. And of course, this is a tutorial for that. Uh, if you guys like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, or if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, uh, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something to put together for you guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.